Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host, Coslix, and today we're talking about Lance. This is the weapon I've been waiting to make a guide on, okay? We're going all out in this guide. First, talking about basics, the true combos you need to know, some strings you need to know, and then later in this guide, I want to get into some advanced stuff for you guys. If you're silver, gold, platinum, you can still apply some of the advanced stuff into your gameplay. This is going to be very easy stuff you can add now to your gameplay. Let's get right into this. There's probably nobody else, maybe a few players that can teach Lance as good as me. So if you're watching this video and you don't know who I am, subscribe. This channel is based around helping you improve at Brahala. We want to make a library of content to teach the next generation of players. So subscribe if you want to improve. Uh, let's get right into this. So we're going into training room. Uh, hurt box is on, hitbox is on, stun on, damage on, the whole shebang like normal. Switch, damage position reset, both on. Make sure the bot is like near the center so you can kind of toy with them. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do, give ourselves a lance over here. You can pick any lance legend. And let's get right into this. Uh, just in general, side light, this is your combo starter. Down light, this is your string starter and anti-stacked option. Um, stack just means when you're on top of somebody, you have an anti-stack option. Because side light and end light do not pick up stack, but you got down light. Um, uh, and that's the grounded kit. Then you have neutral air. This is kind of like a near stack juggling tool. String starter, sometimes true combo starter. Sarah is a good horizontal punish option. So if you're horizontally away from, so from someone, you can tear. And then dare is the same thing, but diagonal and also extremely quick with tons of horizontal momentum, which is crazy. Then you have recovery. This is a diagonal kill option. Covers a good dead zone on Lance, but it doesn't cover it that well. It's a bit hard to space this recovery from on the ground. Um, and then you have your ground pound, which is just a spiking tool. One of the best ground pounds in the game. It has a crazy amount of force and 26 damage. <laughs> Um, so yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about just the basic bread and butter combos. There's two main combo starters you're gonna have to know on Lance. Um, they're just out of side light. You got side light down there. Um, this is your bread and butter string starter, true combo, that works until about a light orange. Um, sets up into neutral light, a one dodge frame. That's a great three hit combo uh, string that you should definitely learn. Until you get to diamond, this is a very reliable string to go for. Again, one dodge frame maximum, or like that's minimum, whatever. Get it to one dodge frame and it's a good little three piece. Uh, next, once they get past that orange, you got side light neutral air. Make sure to hold diagonally with the nair just in case so they can't dodge out of it. You can hold it straight up and I can, let me, let me turn on my controller just to show you what I mean. So if you hold straight up, see I'm like not moving forward with the Nair, it's just straight up. They can actually dodge out of this later on in health. So you're going to want to hold diagonally upwards. You see I'm um, moving slightly forward with it. This is just so they can't dodge out of the combo. Um, it still gives you pretty good positioning, but holding back is definitely better. Um, so I do recommend holding back uh, just, I wouldn't say most of the time, but just better positioning. But if they dodge out of it, then you have to go forward. So forward is probably the best way to go. And yeah, this is just a setup tool. You can go into down there and early health at four dodge frames. A lot of people don't dodge this. And then there you can go like Sarah and whatnot. Um, outside of this, you can like GC downlight to cover like spot dodges. Obviously you can use signatures. Like you can do Lance gravity cancel down sig to cover a spot dodge. Uh, but I'm not going over the signatures because this is a weapon guide. So just side light there and then you have a lot of other options. Like in red health, a lot of people will jump outside the nair so you can recovery and it's also a string and it's a kill option. Side light nair, recovery. Six dodge frames. I don't know exactly. I think it is just six dodge frames. Maybe less on higher decks. Um, but this also covers jumps because the recovery goes upwards. Um, and if it doesn't capture jumps because it's too late in health, you can chase dodge upwards and then recovery. So that's a good way of going about it. You can also like GCN sig and whatnot. This is a string starter in the air. You can go for another nair. Um, the coolest thing which I like to do is go for reaction. So you can set the bot to dodge randomly. Side light nair, see how they dodge and then hit them. Um, so side light nair, what's he doing? Dodge up, bat nair. What's he doing? Dodges away, nair sir, etc. Um, just something to think about. Spot dodge. See how you can just react to whatever your opponent does. So that's just definitely something you can practice. You can also spot dodge to put yourself in a better position to react. It just makes you vulnerable to wake ups. 
and wake ups are like people who grab the cancel right away so just watch out for that in particular um but spot dodging after it is a really useful tool to like just react uh, another nice string I often would go for, side light nair jump sair, covers people who try and dodge away or jump away. Like let's say they dodge to the left, which a lot of people do. That picks up later in health. It's a good kill option. Uh, even 160 this should work. See what I mean? So definitely, and sair is a pretty safe option, so it's a good thing to go for. The key with Lance, this is a big tip for Lance. When you hit a true combo and you get advantage state, like let's say you hit side light and air, if you don't have a true combo out of it, going for reactions are safe. But if you really don't have anything, strategic spamming to maintain advantage state into bait would be really useful. So one thing I would do is side light and air and dare in the opposite direction. It, this sounds really counterintuitive, but you're going to give your opponent a decision of can I punish this lance down there and they might try and punish you. You're baiting. It's like you're fishing and... I'm trying to catch the bait, they're my prey, and we want them to try and attack me. The same thing goes with like Sarah in the opposite direction. You can nair again while holding backwards. The key with Lance is momentum while throwing out attacks, and you'll see this a lot on other weapons too. So on that note, let's talk about another string starter, Downlight. Downlight doesn't have any true combos unless you're on 9 decks. 9 decks for Axe has Downlight and Light as a true combo. Uh, you do not have that on Ogre. So what do you do instead? Well, you can still go for a downlight and light. And maybe they won't dodge. On two decks, I'm getting it at three dodge frames. Higher than that, you'll get four dodge frames. Higher than that, at like six, you'll get one dodge frame. And then you'll get it true at nine decks. When it's one dodge frame, if they don't have a dodge, then you can go for it. But uh, at two dodge frames and more, you're going to need something other than delight and light once you get past mid gold, probably. So here's a really good option. If they go high, you got jump stair. If they go low, you can just side sig, whatnot. Or if you want something that you can do every time, this is tough. This is more advanced, something I've been practicing. Shout out to the EU Lance players for showing me the way. Downlight jump, chase dodge, reverse snare, even though I misinputted it. Downlight jump, chase dodge, snare. And Wesley also used to do this back in the day. Shout out to him. You can also stair instead. Like you can do something like that. Um, but take a look at the cool thing with this. You can control the drift. So there is holding all the way backwards. So see how far I'm moving while throwing out a hurt box. You can also hold the opposite direction. And look how much control you get over that. You can go that way or that way. And you're going to make your opponent have to decide between the two ways you're going. And they they, they cannot decide. There's, there's no way to... Like, not consistently so this is a great way of something that has hitboxes this also picks up in the air as you can see so if they're jumping they might fall into it and it's hard to punish so it can act as a bait so this is definitely a really good option i really recommend you guys to practice if you're a lance player that follows me you have not seen me go for this before but i do believe it is fairly optimal and a lot of eu lance players do go for this i just didn't go for them too much in the past um, maybe I wasn't doing it optimally. There are a lot of other solutions, like this is a smaller thing to optimize, but hey, every single centimeter, inch, whatever, they count, baby. Um, this is a tough input, so if you're new to this kind of stuff, it's downlight, jump, chase, dodge. So downlight, jump, chase, dodge, I screw it up like that. And then you reverse the nair. So you hold backwards to turn around, and then there. Then I jump, chase, dodge, nair. And that's all it is. Then you can control the drift once you're nairing. Once you're nair, you either hold backwards or forwards. And yeah. And the reason you reverse it, by the way, is because if you don't reverse it, the back end doesn't hit grounded. So if you want to guarantee hitting grounded, you have to reverse it. So yeah, really useful combo there. Now, a couple other strings that we should talk about. Side lights air. Doesn't work in white, as you can see there. But this is a good kill confirm. Not confirm, it's one dodge frame. It's a good little kill combo. Uh, works very consistently at one dodge frame. A lot of people just don't dodge this properly. So I, I definitely recommend practicing it. Same with side light recovery. The cool thing with side light recovery, which is different than Sarah, Sarah is more punishable than recovery. So recovery, let's say they like spot dodge it, for instance. They're not really like in a position to punish you. So they spot dodge, then you Sarah. And that's the cool thing with re recovery. I definitely recommend recovery a little bit more than Sarah just because of that. Sarah, like they, it might not necessarily give you advantage state, but the recovery is really solid. 
Um, just be careful depending on like how you hit it. Like we're on the far right side of the stage, so recovery is probably the better option maybe because it kills more vertical. Sarah might kill a bit later. It all depends on your positioning. If you're higher up, like on an Enigma platform, then recovery is going to be better because you're higher up. Um, but yeah, those are the two go-to string kill options on Lance. And let's talk about one more thing, which is the Nair true combos. So it's hard to space this intentionally, but when you're like fishing for Nairs in the middle of neutral and you hit a Nair, you're going to recognize you're going to hit the back end of Nair. Just like that. And when you hit that back end hitbox, it's got true combos. So Nair Sarah is the horizontal one I recommend. You can Nair Dare, but it's a lot less consistent. If you can recognize it, sure. Um, but I definitely recommend Nair Sarah is very consistent horizontally and Nair Recovery. Um, and it all just depends on positioning. I misinput that. See how that doesn't hit? You have to Sarah there. And you're gonna get a feel for it. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> the guy doesn't really go like higher than me. There we go. So yeah, those are the two options I'd recommend. And you're just gonna have to react to it in neutral. Uh, it's gonna take some time. So just, it's not something I'd recommend practicing all the time, especially in training. As you can see, it's a bit hard to set up. But if you can recognize it, you get a free true combo. Uh, do I think this combo should be in the game? No. Um, it was removed at one point and then brought back. I just hate aerial true combos in general. I don't think you should ever reward people for playing in the air with combos. But it exists, so we're not going to complain because we play Lance here. Yes. Um, so definitely practice this and it just depends on positioning. Just something you're going to have to experience in normal gameplay. So just be prepared for that. Uh, we talked about Nair combos. There are a couple strings on Lance that you could use. Sarah and Light can get down to like two frames, I believe. I think I I can hit this. Maybe three frames on two decks, maybe two frames normally. If you want to go for this, you can. I used to a long time ago. Just make sure they don't have a dodge. Um, if they don't have a dodge as well, you can Sarah side light, but it's jumpable. That's four frames. Um, I'm on two decks, so maybe that's why it's five frames. Four and five frames aren't that different from one another. They, they're they both jumpable and whatnot, so just be prepared for that. Um, if they don't have a dodge, you can like side light there into more. And kind of see what I mean. So just kind of take notice if your opponent has a dodge or not to continue strings. You can even continue strings like that, which we talked about, like the D-Light, Chase Dodge, Nair. But you could side light there and then do that same thing with a Sair or with a Nair. A lot of ways to kind of use momentum with Nair that I definitely recommend. Do I think Nair is slightly broken? Yes, but I like how it feels. I think the other parts of Nair could be could be nerfed. Um, like the true combo aspect. But uh, yeah, that's all you need to know. I'm trying to think if there's like other ridiculous tech. Uh, one thing that's kind of useful is if you go for recoveries in the air, and then you only have a re exhaust recovery. You can nair exhaust recovery like that, and they kind of won't like expect it because of how fast it is. Like at that, that's like two frames. So that's like a small thing. Like it's just a niche little true combo. You just don't have a recovery. It's not a true combo, but it, it it's useful. And I think you can get it true. It's just very situational. I won't rely on it as a true combo. But it, Lance exhaust recovery is really good. Just in general, if like people are above you. You just like can spam exhaust recovery. It, it's very useful. I don't have exhaust. Um, if they're off stage, dash jump ground pound. There's also some tech on Lance that you can kind of experiment. It's these edge cancels, wall cancels, where you can cancel the startup of Sarah and Dare. I don't abuse this kind of stuff. I think it's a bug that is, I don't know. It's cool. But I don't think it's necessary on Lance. Like, I, I don't love it. It looks really dumb to me. Where, look at some of these hitboxes. It's just like zero startup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then some handle hitbox that lasts like two frames. It just, I don't know. I don't love it that much. But there's definitely ways to experiment with this and to abuse this. So if you want to abuse this in your game, you can. But it's not something I rely on, to be honest. Um, maybe it's a way for me to optimize Lance. 
Um, but yeah. Other than that, is that everything that I can think of right now? Oh, just a general tip. I recommend trying to play a bit more grounded. Punishing with side light is going to do more damage because you can hit the combos out of any other punish on Lance. And there's a one hit. You're not going to get confirmed recoveries. So if you just want to like damage build up, these like go to combos are just so useful. Even that's two dodge frames is nuts. Um, so that, oh yeah, that is a three hit two dodge frame string that they might not dodge in gold that you can practice. And it, also that three hit is a true combo on Enigma. Let me, or any map of the soft, soft platform there. Let me, let me show you what I mean. This is a niche thing that also probably shouldn't be in the game. But it is. Where is Enigma? There it is. But definitely I'd recommend trying to play a bit more grounded. You're going to like do more damage on the ground so i definitely just recommend it you can hit these down lights that are gonna be more confirmed um so yeah if you're playing in the air looking for sarah's constantly you're just not gonna rack up damage that well and you can but yeah that's a true combo by the way so if you ever hit side light in air on a soft platform which happens more often than you'd think on a map like enigma maybe once every other game on enigma the free three hit true combo that does a lot of damage uh, side light is 12 damage. It just goes our sorry, maybe 11 damage. I got high attack. Nair, I thought it was like 18, maybe 17. And then end light is the same. So that's at least on this character 34 plus 12, 46 to 50 damage. Three hit true combo. Ridiculous. So yeah, there's definitely little things on Lance that could definitely be nerfed just like this. Just out of stun frame in there or something like that weapon could be balanced a bit better but uh yeah that's that's everything i know i'd also recommend trying to space yourself horizontally because of side light and because of sare very horizontal options then there when it's more stacked or if it's stacked on the ground you got down light and that's how to play lance guys if you got any questions let me know down below i'm gonna be doing lance guides every single year so stay subscribed if you want to see the next one and other ways to improve up Brahala. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.